imported video files can be found in the library's items list and also in the tray. Video can be played from either location, but it's usually easiest to find the most recently used files and recordings in the tray. So it makes sense to clear clips that you won't be using before you begin each new import or analysis session. Removing them does not delete them from the items list. Now that my tray is empty, I can locate the clips that I want to use for my analysis and load them into the tray by dragging them there. I'll set the playback speed to slow motion by clicking here. Then click on the play button to start playing and again to pause. Now I proceed with my analysis frame by frame. To move quickly through a longer clip, I could fast forward and again to go faster. Then right click the same button to return to my previous playback speed. However, it's often best to click and drag the playhead. To the position which I wish to view. The jog wheel achieves both slow motion control and fast forward. Another time saver is the button which controls the playback options. This lets me control whether a single clip plays or whether it plays in a loop or whether all the clips in the tray play one after the other as if they were a single movie. When you're using the video with others, the Dartfish remote control can be very useful to let you share a screen or free you up from the computer. You can get it and find out more about it from the download section of our support website.